Yes, yeah, so I think we all saw that coming. What's up everybody? Today I wanted to talk about Star Wars. It has been a while since I made a Star Wars video, but uh, something came up and I really think this is worth talking about. And now, Mark Hamill seems to really confirm that Luke Skywalker will indeed be returning as a Force Ghost. And um, this is an interview that he gave to the Associate Press. And I'm gonna say something. We have been burned so many times you know so many times with these big franchises that from now on i am really going to pay attention to what the actors are saying you know recently the same thing happened with game of thrones a lot of the actors before the the season even came out were kind of hinting that it wasn't going to be great you know uh kit harrison said it was very disappointing emilia clark was like mm, you know all of these hints and the little fan heart inside of me always hopes for the best and i'm in the same situation with star wars if you watch my latest um, reaction to the teaser trailer i'm a I'm a diehard Star Wars fan. I love this franchise. I love the characters and I want it to succeed. I want, you know, to come home after a horrible day at work and be brought back to a galaxy far, far away. You know, I want that element of, you know, good versus evil and, you know, satisfying fights. Again, I want to see that again, but the new sequel didn't really give us that. It actually just makes us mad because apparently that's what Hollywood wants nowadays. It, it, it's no, they forgot that they're supposed to be entertaining. You know, it's no longer about entertainment. It's about making people miserable, making the fans miserable. So, uh, like I said, now Mark Hamill has always been very vocal about the sequel trilogy. The hints started back in The Force Awakens and I didn't pay attention because I enjoyed The Force Awakens apart from the mistakes because obviously there are a ton of mistakes and a ton of things that I hated like the fact that we didn't get a reunion of Han, Luke and Leia was an atrocity uh, the fact that Luke Skywalker is like two seconds in the film and it's just really uh, the fact that you know Rey is able to beat a Sith Lord all of these little things but at the same time I understood what J.J. Abrams were trying to do you know playing with the nostalgia and trying to introduce the new characters and somewhat I was satisfied I was still saying okay let's go the last jedi then after the last jedi it's where i where i really think that uh, the, it broke star wars completely it really sacrificed the story for politics sake you know uh putting these characters that no one care about and forgetting about the beloved characters uh, you know and giving them a satisfying ending we didn't even hear about a funeral for han no one even mentions him you know luke skywalker is completely castrated you know same story over and over again so we've been burned so many times that right now after this interview and after what Mark Hamill just said I've got to say despite my enthusiasm and I despite me you know my fan heart wanted to hope that this movie was you know going to be at least a little bit satisfying that at least it would wrap up the saga in a satisfying way but I have zero expectation now I'm going to go watch this movie with zero expectations because I can see in Mark Hamill's face that he's not pleased with what happened and now he's not the only one to come forth and talk uh, talking about it also John Boega who plays Finn talked about it and I'm like oh my god this is definitely not looking good and I'm worried I was like what are they actually doing you know if Mark Hamill that is the guy that has been involved with this franchise for 40 years he's been Luke Skywalker his entire life he has always shown love for the character love for the fans and he's not pleased if he's not pleased, something is up. So I'm gonna play this clip and we're gonna have a look at his face over here and uh, you tell me, what do you think is going on? Is this really, 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 really gonna be your last Star Wars appearance? I sure hope so. <laughs> and why? Well, because, you know, I mean, I had closure in the last one, you know? I mean, the only, the fact that I'm involved in any capacity is only because of that peculiar aspect of the Star Wars mythology where if you're a Jedi, you get to come back and make a curtain call as a forest ghost. Okay, so 
that is pretty much the confirmation that he's only returning as a force ghost and I would go even further and say that he's just going to be kind of a supporting actor I don't think he's going to be in the film a lot I think a lot we're gonna hear a lot of his voices just like when we saw Obi-Wan talking to Luke back in the original trilogy I think it's gonna be something like that um, and unfortunately it's not satisfying because we we never got our Luke, you know, uh, that heroic moment of Luke. In fact, they really destroyed the character. I've spoken about this so many times. Um, the execution of what they were trying to do was just um, horrible. Horrible horror. I even made a comparison in videos before between Logan and Luke Skywalker. Remember the last Logan film we had that it was a brilliant film where we actually see uh, the end of Logan and, and you know if they had done something that way like if they had really you know but no they didn't do that they actually in my opinion when I left the theater it felt like they were making fun of the character and disrespecting the character and in my mind I was like they are insane I don't understand why would you do that like you should be honoring these characters you wouldn't even have Star Wars if you weren't for these characters it enrages me uh, now John Boyega said this uh, he replied to a tweeter so someone called Fat Iron Man said uh, something, he, he tweeted something, I hope after episode 9 we hear the true feelings from the actors seeing Game of Thrones actors voice their displeasure with the way their show ended gives me hope. I suspect we will hear similar stuff January, February next year. Episode 7 was okay, episode 8 was hopefully episode 9 is good and then he said which I couldn't believe he said that because John Boyega was also doing some back and forth with fans online nothing like J Ryan Johnson but now he says don't worry I mostly definitely will so this is a warning sign that he's not happy with whatever they're doing with his character we all know that uh, you know Finn became such a waste of a character in The Last Jedi. I mean, Finn was pretty much uh, Rose Tico's sidekick. There was absolutely nothing compelling about the character. His entire arc from the previous film was thrown in the trash uh, for the sake of, like he became a gag, you know, like he's just a comic relief. And I actually thought that his character at first in The Force Awakens was kind of interesting, you know, like we never seen a stormtrooper perspective this way. There's so much potential that, and, uh, but I like that he didn't want anything to do with it. And then because of Rey, he decides, you know, I'm going to fight the good fight. But then in The Last Jedi, <laughs> he goes back to running again. He doesn't want anything to do with anything. It doesn't make sense to me, but like I said guys, uh, right now we have been burned so many times that I'm definitely paying close attention to what these actors are saying. If Mark Hamill is not happy with it, if John Boyega is not happy with it, I'm pretty sure we, the, the, the hardcore fans, might not be happy with it. Like I can't not see how they would wrap this up in a satisfying way, in a satisfying manner. I don't even know how they can restore what was done with The Last Jedi. Like, how can you bring that back? And now they're bringing Palpatine back. Can you picture Palpatine without Vader? Probably not. Probably Vader will be there too. Um, we don't know. Are they going to be using flashbacks? I don't know. I'm definitely going to watch it because obviously I need to discuss the movie here with you guys. But I am going to the theaters with zero expectations, just like, you know, I'm, you know, I'm not even going to try train myself to not be angry because I was already very angry after The Last Jedi. Like I said, they really, really, really destroyed Luke Skywalker. You know, it was supposed to be a movie about passing the torch and it became a movie about making fun of all the original and beloved characters uh, because we must love the new characters you know they don't know how to create a passing of the torch film it's just sad you know it's just sad I think even Daisy Ridley herself uh, shows some displeasure with the uh, things that happen in the um, in the sequel trilogy but I'm very curious to see what are all these actors are going to be saying going for forward you know after the movie comes out 
uh, and I love Mark Hamill and I don't think this in this particular video he's trolling us I think he's being he's he's you could tell on his face reaction that he's uh, he's definitely not pleased and if he's not pleased and he's Luke Skywalker a guy that understands the lore I'm pretty sure we are not going to be pleased either which is just sad, you know, it's even worse that those um, two idiots that destroyed Game of Thrones are now going to be creating a trilogy as well. I mean, can you even have any hope for Star Wars? Uh, so I would like to ask you a question, you know, if you want to describe what does it mean to be a Star Wars fan in one word down in the comments below, I would love to hear that because for me, the description is in one word, painful. I believe that being a Star Wars fan nowadays, it is extremely painful, you know. All you have to do is kind of ignore all of this a sequel trilogy, pretend it's not canon. That's what it's in my mind. Like The Last Jedi, it's not canon for me, you know. It ended with the George Lucas films. I can't, I just, I can't take these films serious. I just can't, you know. Uh, even Akbar himself also uh, showed, and I think he spoke about how much he felt disrespected uh, while shooting The Last Jedi, you know. Ryan Johnson is a clown. People that are in charge of Lucasfilm are a bunch of clowns that don't understand anything, don't understand the lore. And I, I don't even think that they don't understand. Perhaps it's the, because they don't care. They just have something that is so big and so beloved and they could use that to shove politics down your throats to, to, to make sure you understand their own message and they don't care about the story. They don't care about the characters. Pfft whatever man anyways guys drop your comments below I'd love to hear your thoughts on all of, all of this if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that thumbs up subscribe for more and i'll see you next time bye